Okay, let's talk about our weather. It is changing. Mm-hmm starting tomorrow. Exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, today's been pretty comfortable, but once we hit tomorrow, you're going to feel it as you get close to the door in those inland areas. Uh, that heat's going to be coming on through, so your AC is going to be clicking on, and uh, well, you're going to have to find some way to stay cool the next couple of days. Let's get a look at the source of the heat. It's all about this hot area of high pressure centered over the west. Now, it's going to continue to move closer, not only baking the Bay Area, but California, Nevada, even right up to towards Utah and it's not just a one day event again really from Thursday through Sunday we're looking at this heat so that's why some heat warnings have already been put into place at least preemptively here uh, through portions of the East Bay and also the North Bay those locations in red that's where temperatures are going to be ranging 95 to 106 degrees so yes low humidity 10 to 20 percent the closer that number gets to zero well the faster fires can spread because the air is so dry so also that elevation elevated fire danger and don't forget those pets and yourself. You got to, you know, just kind of plan sometimes to drink lots of extra water, get that water bottle, bring it with you and refill it and refill it lots. Now here's the other deal. While we're getting the heat, we're also going to find some fog at the coastline, so it's not going to be extremely hot at the coast. You can see for tomorrow morning, we're starting off with that fog. Also drizzle near San Francisco, some low clouds for the North Bay, East Bay, also the South Bay clears out pretty quickly here for most of us by 1030 in the morning, except Except if you're going to our beaches, that's where that cloud cover will continue to stay put. Morning temperatures starting off on the cool side here. 62 for the South Bay Peninsula, 60 and the Tri Valley, 65 and a mix here of 50s and 60s through the North Bay, San Francisco and the East Bay. But let's get you to those temperatures again, about a 10 to 15 degree solid warm up tomorrow. Even some spots going up 20 degrees. That's going to put us at 95 in Morgan Hill, 85 through San Jose right here through the East Bay. No doubt some of the hottest weather tomorrow back to Antioch and Concord upper 90s low 100s but pretty comfortable there through Oakland and Hayward in the 70s. The peninsula 80 here in Redwood City and up to Daly City 62 and there's that cool ocean breeze continuing to keep a lot of San Francisco in the 60s but you head to downtown or the mission and you'll be in the low 70s and through the North Bay 92 in Sonoma get away from the bay you're up to 101 there in Clear Lake. Now one spot that is really going to just break away and get extremely hot because it's closest to the heat source is Brentwood 111 potential on Saturday drops off next week, but we'll still hold on to some low 90s there on my seven day forecast. San Francisco keep 70s all the way through Sunday's forecast and some 60s next week and through the inland valleys. It's going to be a hot one. I've raised temperatures. We're staying in the triple digits Thursday, Friday, Saturday and also on Sunday. So hot, hot, mm. hot. I need to restock the water. Uh, at uh, at my house too. I, I like the bottled water. I like to refill it too. A little mix there going on. Okay, we got to be prepared. It's four days, and then the main part will be over. Yep, you got, got it. it. Thanks, Jeff. Sure.